Hi, I'm Evan Lawani, and we're here with WLTS TV 21. Right now, we're on the bus heading to Morristown, checking out the student symposium. Right there, they have a lot of technology and uh, new things for telecom, so we're going to check it out. So I'm here with uh, Bart Cacciola of DAP Media. And you fly drones with cameras on them. Can you tell us a little bit about that and what kind of shots you can get with that? Sure. Uh, the shots, it's limited by your imagination. There's basics that you can do flying alongside of something, flying up and over something, um, just hovering in one spot and panning. You can be very basic with it, but you can also be very complicated. Depending on the equipment, you can draw away from things while also panning and zooming out. You can do a lot of different things. But this particular helicopter uh, has the most capability because it can be operated by two people at the same time. While one person is flying the helicopter, the other person is uh, decoupled and flying the camera mount, uh, panning, tilting the camera, separate from what the helicopter is doing. glasses right here, so you put these on? Uh, yes, you can do that. What you would do is, uh, while, you're, while the pilot's flying the helicopter, you would have a pair of goggles like this on, and what they're doing is displaying the actual image from the helicopter, from the camera. So you're wearing these, uh, it's just like looking through the viewfinder of the camera and you couple that with the radio control, you can operate the camera as if it's on a tripod really. All right, well thank you very much for your time. Sure, enjoy the show, thank, thank you. you. Okay, so I'm here with? Brian Raymond. And what are you guys from? Houston, ICANN Corporation, Houston, Texas. And uh, what do you guys do? I see a lot of lighting around here. We manufacture lights, monitors, teleprompters, tripods. Uh, grip equipment, wireless focus controls, gimbals, uh, HDMI to SDI converters, pretty much anything you need for your production besides the camera. Now what are the, what is the thing with the new lights and everything, what do they help with? So these lights here, are these flat lights are called Yato lights and if you notice they have a flat profile and they create a nice soft light without harsh shadows and they're talent friendly lights so you could put this one on the camera shoe as well and light up the subject they're good for stills food portraiture so it's a very versatile light so this is a new technology for us to have this what's called edge lit is there any new technology also so using smartphones and gopros to acquire video so we have a device that allows you to capture video with your gopro and hold it smoothly and get that flying shot normally associated with the Steadicam or a very expensive device and now you could do this for three hundred and fifty dollars. That's pretty cool now. Have you ever tried it yet? Yes, I use it all the time with my phone. I actually have a phone that shoots 4K. So I'm here with Nello Ciccone. All right, can you tell us a little bit about the close-up program here in New Jersey? Sure, this is Classroom Close-Up. We are a magazine style television show. It airs 20 episodes a year and we go around public schools highlighting and uh, accenting the positive things going on in public education. Ranging from kindergarten to middle school to high school and some colleges. And we're excited to be here at JAG today. Now I see you have an Emmy here. How'd you guys win that? This specific Emmy was for 2009's Classroom Close-Up Men of Distinction, which was a story about a singing program providing confidence and, and helping students kind of get ahead with their singing careers. Very cool. I think this story was in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. So everything's based out of New Jersey here? Definitely. We're all over throughout the state, from Cape May all the way to the top of the state, past New York, you know how big New Jersey can get up there. And how long have you guys been a program for? For 22 years. Longer than MASH. Yeah. <laughs> all right, well, thank you for joining me. Thank you very much. Thank you. So we're here at Buffalo Wild Wings after uh, we got done with that conference. Great time. I'm here with Mike. We won an award. Mike, you want to talk about that award real quick? Yeah, I think it's great that my hard work is finally starting to pay off. And my hard work. It was all me. All the countless hours that I've been putting in single-handedly. All right, well, that's going to wrap it up here for everyone at WLTS TV 21. Thank you. See you guys later. Yeah,